welcome back. I told you I'd be back when we had some more news on Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we just got a little bit of information given to us today off their website. It's a pretty interesting stuff, so it definitely looks like a production is coming to Farm Sim 22 right out of the gate. Um, and a few other things have been posted, but this is uh, right from them. So I'm really excited to show it to you guys. So let's get into it right now and uh, let's let's take a look through it. And here it is, a Farm Sim 22. First look at production chains. As it reads here, get your production chain started in Farm Sim 22 and don't stop with selling the wheat after harvesting. Instead, deliver it to the grain mill so it gets processed into fine flour and bring to the local bakery. Then you decide what they'll do with it. So as if you've played a few of the maps uh, in the game, uh, there are some production already on it, but it definitely looks like they've gone ahead and actually added into the base game. Uh, it looks like we're getting some sort of oil refinery here. And then we're getting new buildings and shops and businesses. Uh, so with this, it reads, uh, so what's new exactly? There's a lot of new building types in Farm Sim 22. Well, some are already placed on new maps and ready to take your goods for further processing. You can also build them yourself. Right there says a lot. It sounds like we're going to be able to build the buildings to some degree in here. Uh, that's going to be very interesting to see. I'm not sure if that's going to be, you know, bring wood to it and build it, or you just have to build it straight from the ground up you know as time passes it'll build uh once you reach you certain money that itself is an interesting line right there you can build them yourself make them your business to expand farming operations since the feature is still a work in progress we won't show you everything today one of the business parts one of the business being part of the production chain is the bakery. If you want to generate income from the delicious cakes or fluffy bread, you need to supply them flour, sugar, butter, as well as other ingredients. To get these, you need to visit other links in the chain, like the grain mill, dairy, or sugar mill. So it really feels like they're taking some of what you've seen on, you know, with the supplies. You're going to have, you know, you're you're going to take from your... Dairy, your cow production, you're going to grab that milk, take it over to the dairy, you're going to make butter, uh, maybe another component out of there, milk as well, take that over to the bakery, and in turn, they're going to go ahead and make your breads, other desserts, and then you'll be able to sell them. You, your new bread and butter. Oh, I, I really like this grain mill. As you can see on the forklift here, we're getting pallets. So I'm guessing pallet production is going to be in there or we'll be able to just buy the pallets or to be supplied to us. Uh, That's going to be interesting to see. How you get one resource from one point to another is your choice. Either haul it yourself and your farming business is able to haul loads of goods or let the businesses do the heavy lifting for a fee, of course. That's kind of handy. You, you'll be able to transport it yourself or essentially pay a transporting fee. That will be a really nice touch. The grain mill or sugar mill, for example, let you decide if transporting the processed goods to the next link of the chain yourself or if the mill delivers them. Also, in case of the bakery, you can decide if they sell the product, produce goods directly, or if you distribute them to the local supermarkets, restaurants, or farmer markets to generate even more income. One way or another, if you're selling baskets full of freshly baked bread instead of just the harvested wheat, you'll make more money. Especially since uh, you're not the only, you not only have various options on what to produce. You can multiply production at once. Just make sure you provide the necessary resources to keep them going. I am, I am really, really liking that as well. Uh, and more info to stay tuned. Uh, we'll go more in-depth in the production chain in Farming Simulator 22. Also, if you haven't marked it down your calendar yet, you should not miss this year's FarmCon. From July 21st to July 23rd, we're streaming daily, presenting you a lot of news about the game. It's free to watch on our official Farming Simulator Twitch channel. So, there's some really, really good information here. Uh... Production looks like it's coming to Farming Simulator 22. Uh, we're going to be able to build the production as well. 
And then it looks like we're gonna have a couple avenues. You can probably, looks like we can sell directly to a sell point, a farmer's market, or a local grocery store. So you're gonna be, probably have a couple different prices. So that's gonna open up a whole avenue of different things. Uh, the building aspect, I want to know more about and see how that transpires. Obviously, they're still working on some things, but it's really, really big news. Um, it's taking some of what the map makers did in Farm Sim 19, putting it in base game, uh, expounding upon it, and having us an ever variety and more of a, a farming aspect, what it takes to be a real farmer. Do you just want to take that grain and sell it? Do you want to make bread? possibly other items from it, dairy products, and make multiple different di chain, you know? So you're gonna have to require to have, you know, dairy and bread to make bread, or chickens, and things of that nature. So it's really, really interesting to see. It's This is a really big update. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for what Farm Sim 22 has to offer. So I look forward to giving you more news as it comes forward. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more info and always great seeing you and have a great day.